Hello, this is Dr. Liu at Li Time. Today's video, I want to answer some of the questions raised by the audience. I love you know everybody's comments, questions, and I try my best to answer all of the questions. If you leave, you know, under the comment section of each video, I picked the seven questions. Uh, these are like a more typical ones. They have a good representation, like uh, most people. Could be interested in to know the answers, but this doesn't mean your question is not typical. You are very welcome to ask questions and give comments. So let's start the list. The first question is、um, He said, I read somewhere that if you're trying to make hydrosol, it's better to do it differently at a lower temp. Than if you are focused on making the essential oil production,、um, the quick answer yes, that that is correct. You know, a lot of、uh, our customers ask, should I use a、uh, high heat or low heat when I'm making the hydrosol or doing the distillation? So low heat is always better because you know, like this, when we are doing the distillation. The herb gotta be extracted due to the high temperature or the high heat brought up by the steam, and that steam go through the herb, and then carry the extract, carry the essential oil, essential compounds out of the herb. So if we do the high heat, you know, so the steam will come up quicker. There will be a lot of steam come up. But the essential compounds within the herb, they come up at a fairly stable speed. So that means if you have more steam, so your hydrosol will be diluted because you have just like you pouring more water in the sugar, you know, compared with pouring less water in the sugar. So you will have a more sweeter if you use less water. It's the same reason. So that's why we also recommend try the low heat. But of course, you want to keep us、uh, boiling because that's how you get the steam. So if you get a steam, then the low heat will be the best. So that's a very good question. The second one that was following the the recommended five different hydrosols for the. Uh, acne treatment. He asked, "Can we mix those five different hydrosol together in a bottle to get a, a super beneficial one?"、Um, this is a tricky question. Basically, so what he tried to ask is,、uh, will there be a synergy effect if we mix the hydrosol together? That means it's we one plus one make a bigger than two. Um, for this question, it's not always happen.、Uh, there was a study they using a different essential oil and mix together, try to compare if they got a synergy effect. Not all the combination have a boost the effects. Only the coriander and the cumin seed oil. This combination give a synergistic interaction for both of the antibacteria and antioxidants. So. It's um, it's not always you know you mix together you have a, a better results, but it's worse you know do some test. I recommend you start with two hydrosol or even three. Because you, if you look at the combination, there will be a lot of combinations. So just start with a simpler, uh, you know beginning and、uh, test it and、uh, see if you have a better results. And the other, you know, the factors we want to think about is、uh, will there be a negative impacts when we mix different herbs together? In traditional Chinese medicine, there are eighteen incompatible herbs. You don't want to mix them together when you use it because that will not boost but reduce the effect. So that's. The other thing you want to think about when you're mixing the different herbs together. The third one is not actually a question. It's that、uh, 
that follow about the Juniper Berry. See, he read a Native American herb book. It said it can be used to treat the pinworms. So starting by eating one berry and increasing one each day until you get a 20 and go back down to one. And this, the treatment can help uh, treat the pinworms. This is a, a very good knowledge sharing. Thank you. And uh, for everybody, if you know something, please share with us. And that's definitely a very good knowledge for everybody to know and help everybody you know, to practice more. So this is a good loop for the knowledge gaining. The next question is, uh, he asked about the lavender hydrosol because we use a flower and he asked, can we use a leaf? It's a good question. For different herbs, we use different parts. Some herbs, we can use more parts than the others. But for lavender, we use the buds because the buds contains uh, more the essential oil and uh, it can make more concentrated hydrosol by using the leaves. Um, so if you want to have a better hydrosol, better quality hydrosol, you want to use the right part of the herb. If you have an interest in knowing which parts of the herb should be used to the extraction, I wrote a book about tinctures of 48 different beneficial herbs. One of the part in each chapter is talking about which parts they were used for the extraction and when do you harvest them to make the best product. And now I have the free sample book. It has two chapters out of the 48. And you can just download it and read it. Get a sense about the book. And also the actual full book is on sale now. And I put a link down below so you can see the free sample book and also the full book, the link of them. The next question is, he asked, can you tell us what the hydrosol is used for? Actually, this question be answered by another audience. Thank you. And uh, his answer is uh, actually very correct. He said, you can use it for cosmetics, hand make soap, shampoo, lotion, creams, and you can make toners. You can make air freshener, car freshener, floor freshener, uh, and you can intake some uh, small amount of uh, diluted hydrosol with water, and you can use as a natural pesticide. This is 100% correct. And uh, thank you for the question and uh, for the answer as well. If you know answer of the questions given by some audience, please help me answer them. You are very appreciated. The next question, the hydrosol is a mold or mycotoxin free? This is a wonderful question. So mycotoxin, it's actually a toxic compound produced by certain mold. And this can happen in the food, nuts, cereal, herbs, spice, a lot of the plant-based materials because the mold grow there if you don't do a good treatment, especially like a drying, if you don't do a good drying, or if you didn't store them, the fresh herb correctly, you get a chance to have those uh, mycotoxins. Those mycotoxins are toxic to our body, can cause cancer and a lot of other acute disease. So for those mycotoxins, they actually are a large group of toxins, or chemicals. Those are the organic chemicals. But uh, the, luckily, when we do the distillation, so those chemicals are large molecules. They don't vaporize. Most of them don't vaporize. So the, in the hydrosol, we should say it's uh, mycotoxin free because those got to be left in the in the waste like those within the herb or in the tea left however the starting point is always very important you try to have a good quality herb 
you don't want to use those herbs already molded or already you know change their the appearance or the mold have decay cause the decay of the herbs so always use a good quality herbs dry herbs for most of the case is better if you lose water then the mold cannot grow anymore and the last question is is using powdered ginger i think this is the following by the video on making the ginger hydrosol is using powdered ginger like sell at a grocery store as spice good to make those ginger hydrosol uh, short answer is not a good because when they making the gin first you don't want to use a powder when you do the distillation especially when you do at home uh, that can cause a clog of your the device and cause some uh, safety issues you don't want to use powder you want to use the pieces uh, fairly big pieces is better and uh, when we talk about the ginger when they make the ginger powder what it does is uh, they dry it first and then they motor it so the motor can make even worse impact on the ginger because it will lose the oil it will lose all the volatile compounds because the high temperature motor the grinding that's caused a loss a lot of the essential oil so that you can taste it because of most of the flavor noise is still there but you can taste it but not the essential oil so when you are making the herbs try to use you know if you use the ginger if you can purchase the fresh ginger use the fresh ginger just cut it and put in the steamer and do the distillation or you can buy some good quality dry the ginger chunks so not the powder so we don't recommend use a powder for the distillation that's all the questions for today uh, again please leave your questions and the comments for all the videos and i will try to answer all your questions uh, thank you again. This is Dr. Liu. If you think this is helpful, please like the video, subscribe the channel. See you next time.